Okay, so this was a great story the other day. They had the uh, woman from Arizona, the hiker, that got injured. I think she um, broke her wrist and and uh, fractured her nose when she was hiking, fell over. And I think she was like 74 years old. And um, they sent a rescue helicopter in and then uh, put her in the stretcher and she started spinning around like a little, like a fidget spinner. And um, so, so they got hold of the actual um, fireman captain and did an interview with him and this was on uh, the morning show. So let's have a look. Oh, now, what about this? Uh, this uh, we were besotted by this yesterday. Well, we showed were. you pictures this yes. week, yesterday, of an injured hiker who had a helicopter ride she'll never forget. The 74-year-old sprained her wrist, but was being hoisted to the safety of a chopper when the stretcher she was in spun out of control. Look at that. Left dangling in midair, the crew tried raising and lowering the woman to slow down the spinning. She was later treated for dizziness and nausea, duh, but she suffered, amazingly, no other side effects. Mm. Joining us now is the captain of the Phoenix Fire Department, Rob McDade, whose crew was involved in this operation. Rob, welcome to Sunrise. These mm. pictures are incredible. Tell, tell us how this happened. Well, the pictures are incredible, and uh, we knew early on in the day uh, that this was uh, going to catch some momentum, and uh, we knew we needed to get out in front of it, sort of explain what happened, but... So you can see there he's, um, looks like one of the rescuers is putting his foot there, trying to trying to stop the spinning, but it didn't, didn't really uh, have much effect. And um, I think it's a bit like, I've got, I've got a uh, coffee machine, and he's... Uh, Manual coffee machines where you sort of grind the beans and blah blah, and you then you throft the milk up and you sort of and you put the uh, nozzle at a certain angle and you, you just you create like a vortex effect and just keeps spinning and spinning. So same sort of things happening here. It's just a uh, a perfect storm of conditions that are causing this spin. Here in Phoenix, we are surrounded with the sixth largest city, yeah, but we have mountains right in the middle of our city. A lot of people don't know that. I mean, the highways go around it. It's a part of where we live. So we have thousands of hikers daily on our mountains. We have multiple mountains. We get a call. Uh, this elderly woman decided to take a hike with some friends, fell, um, fractured her wrist, and then oh. had, broke her nose. Oh. Uh, when our crews reached her, uh, the Ooh. only way to get her down was in a helicopter. Now, we have two ways. We put you in a screamer suit. Yes, that's the name of it, <laughs> where you're sort of sitting, and it's a harness, and we oh, lift yeah. you up. But because of her age, we thought we'd use the Bauman bag. And uh, the tagline was set, and uh, it did what it was supposed to do. It broke, and then, unfortunately, now you're about a wind chime below that helicopter. And what you saw, it was. Uh, Jeez. It, we trained for that. It happens, but it, it was quite remarkable. Had uh, Rod, how do you slow it down? Once it spins like that, do you just drop it to the ground and? Yeah. Yeah, two ways of doing it, great question. So sometimes when we lower it, the centrifugal force will slow down. Oh. But we were up against a mountain in the sheer wind, it was a windy morning. So we had downdraft from the helicopter rotors and then we had crosswind from the mountain. Oh, so the pilot, God. highly skilled. We do 180 of these a year. So oh. we lowered her down, didn't help it. We raised her up, it didn't help it. So finally, after we knew she had had quite the ride, when you move towards the landing zone, that forward thrust will slow it down. We just, ah. we needed to get her down on the ground and we're just so happy right. that Is she, right? she survived that. And uh, I know oh, we made too. fun of, she's doing great. We talked to her in the hospital. And in fact, she's very thankful to the rescuers, believe it or not, uh, despite giving her that amazing ride. Uh, she's very thankful to, for the rescuers for mm -hmm. what we did. And uh, I think she even saw some of the viral stuff online, YouTube, everything else. And I think she has pretty good spirits about it. That's Excellent. good. All That's right. good. Well, Rob, we thank you for your time. Well, it was mm. a good rescue. You know, we, we get it. But thank you. And yep. well done to your guys and girls. Too. Right. She's OK. I didn't yeah, realize she had on. a broken nose as well. That's no, a lot of that's spinning that's for a broken nose. Give her a nose bite. <laughs> she probably already had a nose mm. bite. <laughs> but um, I remember one of the early stories, I'll have to dig it up, and um, <laughs> the, the mean Australian news news presenters were uh, they had the audio guy was putting uh, the Kylie Minogue song I'm um, spinning around in the background so I might have to dig that up I might have recorded it we'll see but um, hope you enjoyed that one and uh, don't forget to subscribe hit the like button hit the bell button my little bell so you get notifications 
Some people are saying that they're not getting notifications in the bell button, so I might do a video on how to hit the bell button. They might not know where it is, but um, it should work. And I'll see you next time, guys. Share it around. Bye.